good morning we have another package this came super early um meant to come yesterday they said it's coming today and yeah let's open her So I got two more tops like this in the different colors. The quality is so good. It's so soft. They feel really, really nice. So this is this like grayish, grayish one, gray nude. I also got um, a joggers and sweater combo from me and B. Just some cream joggers. I think if I wear these today, I wear them with like my Balenciagas. My triple S's. And this is the top. I'll try this all on for you when I look better than this. All right, once I've showered, I want to have some breakfast and all of that stuff. Um, I just literally woke up. I didn't sleep well, I kept waking up in the middle of the night, such has been the case for the past couple of months. And I think my body is just not used to getting a full night's rest of sleep right now. My eyes are painful, whatever. This is the um, set that I got, the cream set. I don't know. I thought these pants would be a, like a little bit more loose, but it's actually like pants. And you know what white does to cellulite? But surprisingly, it's not too bad. I think because the material is actually very thick. Um, I thought I could find a way to style it outside of the house, but actually. I think this is just best indoors. Um, maybe if it is winter, I'll do like a teddy coat on top of it and stuff, but whatever. I think it's okay. Okay, guys, if you can hear me through my mask, I just got to um, We Are Egg. And there's meant to be a VIP event today, but. I didn't get the details about it, so since I had to come this side anyway, I just thought I'd pop in. And it looks incredible. It looks insane. I love the concept of this. It's such a European concept of shopping, just like open floor, access to freaking everything from beauty to all of that. I really hope you can hear me. So I'm going to show you around. I don't know if we're allowed to record or not. I'm sure we are. I get the vibe that we are, but I've been looking for these coffee table books for ages, right?
How much is the um, sh um, James Charles Morphe Palette? Uh, drained me there was so much going on it was super exciting but at the end of the day i'm 29 years old i'm basically grandma and i just feel exhausted <laughs> but i did purchase a couple of things so i'm going to show you what i've got when i get home one item i think i could have done without honestly visit was a fail I was looking I wanted to go to Daniel Wellington and try out a bracelet one of their new bracelets that they have it's like an all rose gold bracelet that I wanted to try in person but I didn't realize it was like a cuff bracelet so it doesn't go around the whole wrist I don't think cuff bracelets suit me especially if it's thick <clears throat> so and another thing that I realized is that my wrists are not the same size my left wrist is smaller than this wrist to the point I was like is my is my arm swollen I don't understand I know everyone's like body like one half of the body generally tends to be bigger than the other side it just threw me off completely. I didn't like the way it looked. I was in there for like 30 minutes, like umming and ahhing. I couldn't decide and I was like, if I'm this, if I'm this indecisive about a Daniel Wellington bracelet, I need to take my ass home. So I took my ass home. Another thing that was like making me not want to really get it, why I wasn't really like fully convinced was because It's not real gold once again so it's on the spectrum of affordability but it's not real gold however I have these Daniel Wellington rings right I've stacked two rings two of the gold rings and they have done very well I don't think about them I wear them every day I wash my hands with them every day I don't shower with them but when I when I wash my hands and I go to the bathroom I wash my hands and I don't think twice about removing them. And they've still held their color. They are not tarnished, they're not rusting. They may be not as vibrant as they were, but maybe they just need a polish. So, Dale Wellington jewelry doesn't tarnish. I've also had their bracelets before until they all got loose and went missing. So, their jewelry is actually very good. If you guys are looking for um, affordable jewelry that doesn't tarnish, that is has some weight behind the brand i think daniel wellington is a very good brand to buy from i think the bracelets are about from 790 to 1200 rand depending on the thickness that you want and then they have rings they also have earrings now and necklaces i think as well in addition to their watches this is not sponsored by the way i'm just giving you guys some information because the comments in the last video touched on how um fashion jewelry is it's not really investment it's not an investment no one said it was an investment in to buy fashion jewelry from Louis Vuitton or wherever it is that you buy from it's not an investment investment is in diamonds like proper diamonds and you know platinum or white gold or gold or whatever it is so 
so yeah that's just an idea if you wanted a super affordable alternative that is still cute and classy and elegant and will last you fair enough some time because I've had these since December last year I got them around the time I've had I've had them for a year I've been wearing them pretty much almost every day for a year so they've served me well anyway um, this is what I've got I want to show you what I picked up from we are egg that store was really really cool so it's where edgar's used to be in cavendish mall in cape town and it's huge so it's pretty much a huge store it's a concept store that sells everything house homeware the kitchen aids you're gonna see i think i already showed you the kitchen aids i'll show you again which I really want a Kitchen a KitchenAid stand mixer. That's what I'm really looking for. But the funny thing is that at that place, the markups are high. So I guess they have to pay rent. <laughs> but I mean, a KitchenAid on Yappy Chef is like, wait, how much is a KitchenAid mixer? I believe it's like 10, 10 grand. KitchenAid. Oh, never mind. It is the right price. Never mind. Never mind. <clears throat> so yeah, the KitchenAid was like 11 and a half. Something, Yappy Chef is selling it for 11.9. So yeah. So there's like homeware, there's kitchenware, there's clothes for days. There was like a live band or live music vibes going on. Swimwear, beachwear, like lounge, everything. Everything, guys. And... It's such, it's in the most ideal location. So Cavendish Mall is next to UCT and the university. And it gets a lot of foot traffic from youngsters, from young adults, from like 18 to 23 and older, obviously, and even younger. So there were people of all ages there and there's like plates and there's jewelry and it's just really really cool and then what's even more cool is that Samika is one of the vendors there and you can actually go and pick up the Ben Nye powders and the palettes and stuff and you can see them for yourself before you buy but I will say I want to check the Samika website and see if they did a markup on their products because I bought an eyeshadow palette and I was just like, should it be this expensive? I don't know. I feel like Means Beauty sells it for cheaper. Oh, but maybe it's about right because they're selling their palettes for about 1200 1400 Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. And this one is the James Charles one. Alright, so let me show you what I got. So, I got this. So I was telling you earlier like I was regretting almost regretting one of the purchases because sorry the sun is moving and it's like setting right now but anyway I was almost regretting this purchase because you know what I'm not even a James Charles fan and I, I don't know <laughs> I'm not crazy about Morphe but I've never tried Morphe like I've hardly have I tried Morphe palette Morphe pa do I even have a Morphe palette maybe I do I, I no 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 I don't that's Jeep factory I don't think I've tried I've ever had a Morphe palette before and I've never tried any collaboration with this guy but I recently watched his house tour and I can't even deny that it was goals so but I just know that he has a lot of drama around him so I hope it's not controversial I don't know but I've never tried it and I really wanted to try it out uh, <clears throat> the packaging is sick so I'm not gonna take that away from Morphe no mirror 
Oh my god. If I knew there wasn't a mirror, I wouldn't have wasted my time. Look at these colors, you guys. Lots of color. We're going to try the Morphe formulation and the James Charles formulation and see how I feel about it. So maybe we'll play with that tomorrow. I picked up the Pixie Glow Tonic, which I've been meaning to try for ages. I don't have a tonic right now that I'm actually dedicated to. So I figured now is the right time to try it out. And then I picked this up too, the Ben Nye Luxury Banana Powder. I've never tried Ben Nye before. I've only had Laura Mercier and Sasha Buttercup and never Ben Nye Powder. I complained the other day about my Chanel um, powder being very, very dry. So I'm going to see how this goes. Hopefully it's a soft focus finish and not overly mattifying and drying. And that's all that I picked up, you guys. Um, yeah. That's all that I got. That's all that I did today. I did pop into loads of living, picked up some pillowcases, boring stuff, <laughs> adult stuff. Um, I was going to go to the other house today, but I don't know. I just felt too far away and I was stuck in traffic and I was just, ugh. No. I just need to, I just needed to come home and just chill, read a book. And just, that's why I'm sitting in the, in the spry area. I'm not even in my office. I'm facing the sun, making me sleepy. I just want to drink some water, sit in the sun, read a book, and then edit this video for later so tomorrow i'm thinking i'm gonna show i'm gonna show these products that i'm using these these um new makeups that i bought new makeups that i bought <laughs> but i really didn't want to wear makeup tomorrow i don't know tomorrow's friday so we're gonna see how i feel about it um i don't know i didn't want to make up but i i didn't want to make what I didn't want to wear makeup tomorrow because I've worn makeup for the past two days and I'm over it. By the way, I was wearing these like leather joggers inside Cavendish. I was sweating inside the mall, guys. I was boiling hot. I actually also had a leather blazer on, but I ended up leaving it in the car. If I wore that leather blazer, I would have, yeah, my makeup would have come all the way off. So if I don't see you guys later on in the evening, I will end this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all super well. Why don't you guys leave some suggestions as to what you would like me to include in future vlogs during Vlogmas. Um, what you want to see next week from me as well so that I can also maybe plan some stuff for my days that I'm, that I, that I'm free. And I can show you guys what you've requested as well. So let me know down in the comments below what you would like to see from me in a few Vlogmas vlogs. Bye. <laughs>